for fantasy players, there is still um, some fantasy playoffs to talk about and some postseason fantasy leagues. So I got an invite to a league from a guy, and honestly, I read it for like 15 minutes, and I said, this is too complicated. I'm not going to do it. And it had to do with playing certain guys, and the strategy was if you used up Tom Brady in the first round, you couldn't have him in the second round. How do they work? How do different postseason fantasy leagues work? There's a couple different formats. One is just basic total points where you kind of do the traditional snake draft. Everybody gets to draft a team. And then based on how they do throughout the entire postseason, you get points, you know, on their performances, just like a regular fantasy. It's almost like a rotisserie style football league. Okay. And then there's the ones like you were talking about where everybody gets to kind of pick from a pool uh, of guys week to week and you can only use each guy once. So you can pick a guy in the first round, pick a guy in the second round, but you can't pick him towards the end. So if you know the Super Bowl ends up being between two teams that you've used both their quarterbacks already, you essentially go into that last week. So in those leagues, if you and I were picking in that league, for example, I could draft Tom Brady, but you could draft Tom Brady also. It's just depending on where you want to use him, right? Yeah, there's not really a draft per se for those kind of leagues. It's more of a week to week. Just it's, it's like a pick em, pick'em's league where you just you pick each week and then you get a point total and that's matched up against everybody else in your league. But are they fun? They can be, you know, if, if you don't have a team in, in the fight and you still like to watch uh, football, it kind of gives you a little bit of extra mo- motivation. You know, Dallas missed out, so I, I'm looking to do a couple leagues because I'm, I'm still starving starving for football, but but my heart's hurting a little bit, so I've got to stay involved somehow. But, you know, they, they can be kind of a headache if, from, from a week-to-week basis if, if you don't really know what you're doing for the first time. I'd always say give it, give it a chance. If you like it, great. If you don't, you know, you at least gave it a shot.